no, she didn't. Okay. Hello, and we are back with another, I wouldn't really call it unboxing because it didn't come with a box, even though I think it should have came with a box because every time, every time, it should have came with a box because um, of, you know, it's a brand name, it should come with a box. And the second thing is, it did come with a dust bag, but, so I just, I should be grateful got a dust bag but anyways um it was a present and really a Christmas gift but I will admit as usual I picked it out and it is the Valentino tote bag now this just isn't the normal Valentino tote bag it is the noir edition which I'm going to kind of explain to you so in case you are looking into getting this bag the difference between this one and the one just kind of right above it. It's the medium size. I, I don't even know if they do a large. I think they do a small though. Um, and for a long time I kept calling it. I'm like, I got the rock star bag. I got the rock star bag. And then people are like, it's the rock stud. Got it? Like some studs. Okay, so anyways, the difference between this one pretty much... So I'm come a little closer so you can see on the strap. It has not just these like little studs here that they all have on it, but it has these black circles. And then on the inside, it will tell you that it's the Noir edition. I don't even know if it's an edition or if it's just what they call the bag, I'm not really quite sure, but I'll tell you the difference between this one and the one that you can get just like it. The only difference will be you won't have the, it'll just be all these kind of like pyramid type grommets and there's another major difference. And this has, they call it antiqued silver tone hardware. There are some that have like gold hardware, there are some that just have like the silver hardware. Um, it's, and this one also is a textured, as you can see, a textured leather. I don't want to call it a pebbled leather. I don't know, but it's just amazing. And the difference between this one and the one right below it, where I'm just only telling this so you can save some money, is that this one is 19 wide by 10 by five and a half. And the one right below it, or I'm trying to just the most similar one to this is the um, rock stud medium leather tote. But it looks like the major difference is it has gold tone hardware. I think I've seen one with silver though. Um, basically, stop licking. It's gross. You're going to get a hairball. Uh, 13. It'll be 13 by 10 by 6. And it just says leather. Same thing, made in Italy, protected my little feet. Um, it's got a 19 drop. I'm pretty sure the other one has a 19 drop. The double handles have a seven and a half drop. Let's go back to mine. Um, so, this is the bag. And this is not the video. This is, there's much cooler, much more coolness coming to it. But it's just the coolest bag ever. And it's just like slouchy. And that's why I loved it. Like I wanted to get a tote. I don't even think that I own a tote. Maybe I have one from like 10 years ago. But you know some like stay up perfectly straight like this when you set them down. Like you don't even need to um, worry about the shape. I just think this is so cool. Like when it's like sitting like next to me. It's like all slouchy and like... It's just cool. It's just really cool and you can move it around. Even like when you're looking for things in here, not really looking for things. Like when you want to put stuff in here, it's easier. Like if it was just this shape and you couldn't like make it move or whatever, it kind of seems like it'd be harder to fit more in here. But at the same time, you don't want to fit. The only, I'd say the bad thing about this bag is um, it's heavy. Like the bag itself isn't heavy, but once you start to put stuff in here, like I always have to have a water bottle. I have like my little makeup bag 
and I'm trying to think of the heavy stuff. Um, and that's really about it, but it gets kind of heavy. And then the strap that it comes with, and this one, two will have the same thing, the little black X grommets on it. Um, it's like, and this could just be me because I get a lot of shoulder pain. So it's like when you have this bag hanging off of you, it's just like this one area here that's like pinching into. But the coolest thing about this bag, and they actually make bags in different colors, same bag, just imagine a different color, and they're reversible. So say it's like brown, then you can reverse it and it's a complete different color. And it comes with the coolest strap ever. I, will, I don't want to I don't want to really call it a tribal print. I will insert a picture of all the straps because when I was looking at this bag and picking it out, I saw the straps too. And the person that got it from me, I'm like, I really want this strap. I really want this strap because you can buy the strap separately. Some of the bags that are reversible come with this strap already. I don't think they come with this normal strap too. It's just the strap that I'm going to show you. And um, they were just like, no, that is ridiculous to spend that much money on a strap. So what I thought, I'm like, hmm, I was kind of looking at the strap, and they call them guitar straps. And I know a lot, oh, I got to get it out. I know like a, a lot of other um, designers are kind of doing it too and just making the strap alone. Like you can buy the Valentino guitar strap alone itself. And I'm like, I could go and make it myself, save money, have the same look, and then it's like this is forever like this will be in style forever this bag will last forever hopefully and um this is the back of it and it's just got like the little um i don't know what you call it their brand name right there and then this is like the front and it's got like a really cool closure and stuff it's just a really cool bag and i love black especially in the winter so we're a lot of black in the winter and the fall so anyway, so they make, um, they call them guitar straps, and they're coolest thing ever, so I thought I could make my own. And the way I've done it right now, I can make it a little better. I can invest like a little teeny tiny more money, maybe um, do it, I'll show you in a second, like how I could do it better. But I thought in the beginning, I would just go to a couple guitar stores and buy some straps. So I bought one in this color. It's kind of like yellow and black. But it's got, that was my dog, by the way, if you heard that stomach growling. Um, it's got some issues. Um, and then there is orange. He threw me off. Um, the one thing I was going to say was it's got, like, you can obviously adjust it. And the ones that you can buy from Valentino, you can adjust too. But it's, like, black. So I bought a, um... I don't want to call it vintage. The fabric's vintage, but then somebody made it into a um guitar strap and it's just a little bit cooler because it has more of like a silver finish there so it kind of makes it look a little bit nicer kind of a little bit cooler and this one i loved because um the valentino the one that i wanted was pink pink and blue i don't know the main thing i saw in it that i wanted was pink and black so this one kind of coming off a little little red there but it's pink so I got this one and I'm really excited about it I'm going to show you how I put them together and so maybe if you want to do it yourself and I know like a, a lot of other brands are making them so you could still make them for less I mean I think the cheapest one that I saw was around 99 to 100 and some dollars and this like these ones you can get at at a guitar store I got them for like 20 they're like 20 a piece but then I got them on sale because I bought two so let's just say they're 17 to 18 dollars a piece maybe even 15 maybe it was two for 30 I don't remember because I was just so excited and then this vintage one that I ordered I got for like 40 so that was like a pretty good deal and then I went out and I bought um it's kind of like so here you have class for the bag and I was kind of funny because I was when I was in the actual guitar store I was telling the guy he's like oh do you play guitar I'm like mm, yeah no and um, I'm like I'm actually buying it to make a strap for my bag and he's like oh I'm like I just need to go to like Joanne Fabrics or somewhere or look online and get these um, hinges and he's like 
I know where you can get those and I'm kind of looking at him and he's like you gotta go to the tractor supply store and I'm like what is the tractor supply store and he like told me where it was went up there right went in right away and this lady was so helpful I'm like I'm looking for you know I'm making um I'm making it's really tired by the way as usual and it's nighttime and blah 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 so I'm like I'm making um handbag um straps out of guitar straps and I need some of these I know there's a name to them, like in here, whatever. I need some hooks, you know, to hook on the bag. And she's like, let me show you where they are. And they had so many and so many different sizes and so many different types. And like this finish that I got, that's the wrong one. And this finish that I got, or you could get it in like nickel plated, which I don't know. I mean, I know what the difference is with nickel plated, but I don't know why you would want nickel plated. It was like a little bit of a different shade of silver. But I don't know. I think I'm allergic to nickel because sometimes when I wear like costume jewelry, I'll get like marks on my neck or rings or stuff. So I'm like, mm, not a good idea. So anyway, so let me just show you how I did this. So this one's already done. And I kind of kept the little tag on here. So if anyone's like, well, what size? Which I highly doubt it's going to happen. But if anyone, I always like to be helpful. If anyone's like, well, what size did you get in that? I can be like, oh, okay. It's the blah, 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 blah. And this one's just a little bit bigger. And the other ones that I have here are a little bit, obviously, way, way smaller. And they're actually more like the size of what's exactly on the back. But the only problem is, and I'll show you in a second, um, let's just say I don't, let me take this off here. The one that I like the best. So say you get one. Come on off. You know, it's on there good. That's just like this. You're not going to be able to hook this on because this bottom part doesn't come off. So the ones that you buy at the guitar store, they have this little loop right here. And all you really do is you take off the circle on this side. Here, maybe zoom in a little. Okay. So we're going to take off this little circle. It's almost like a screw and then the cap to screw. Then you pull out, oops, then you pull out the screw. And then really what you would do, and it's got like a nice loop here, you would take your clasp and put it right through. Well, this one's gonna be a little, take a little bit of arm strength because put it right through like that put it back around put your screw right back through the circle like so and then I don't know why I keep doing that I think I've been around animals too much okay so then you screw it back on got your strap with a nice little clasp to hang on any bag. Gym bag, you don't even have to have this bag, like any tote that you like, or um, gym bag, or anything cool that you would want to put it on. So I'm going to do the same thing with this end. Um, let's go back a little now. I hate to be that close this late at night. Um, you've got your own strap. So I'm going to show you it on the bag and show you how cool it looks. Now, the thing you can do with um, something like this, like I showed you, that only just has this type of thing going on. I mean, you could get crafty and sew something like this on, but if you want to do it fast and easy and the most kind of, I was going to say, economical with the um, cost-effective way is you just get kind of like, I think they call these D-rings. 
I call them something different. Um, you just put that through and you've got yourself a strap. And I think I'm gonna do my coolest one first. I like it the most. And then I'll go and I'll show you, I'll move the camera and I'll show you in the mirror how cool it looks. And it easily fits right on there. And there you go. You've got your guitar strap. Okay, so I'm going to show you in the mirror. Just the camera and see you in a second. Okay, so let me just show you first of all, and hopefully I'm not too far away. This is how it looks like normally. And that's like the drop on it. And I'm tall. I'm about 5'8", a little over 5'8". I have flats on right now. And I just love how it hangs in the back. Like, I think that's the coolest part. Like, it hanging in the back. Look like how slouchy it is. I think it's just so cool. Okay, so with the guitar strap, which I'm so excited about because, like, a thicker, nice, softer strap is not going to give me that shoulder pain. So, really, it's going to hang like this. Now, of course, it's adjustable, so you can, like, bring it up bring it lower, whatever you want to do. So I just think, I'm trying to think, he's crawling. You really, really have to act up right now. Wish you could see him, what he's doing. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, so as you can see, very slouchy, very cool, and I think I just love the slouchiness of this bag. And then this is it strap the back please stop you don't your eyes okay so this is it and i'm trying to think i should take it off of this and show you in the mirror too so anyways this is the look of it on I'll show you from the back i think it looks really cool too i don't know if you can see with the um the toggles here you know you can make these like tighter i think that like this just outfit just is good so you can see let me see if i can zoom in so i can show you so i wanted to show you how cool it looks with the thigh high boots and those little toggles there that they have in the back of the um right around the thigh just kind of like all goes together and it's cool. So this is it. Just a little close up on the strap. And I don't know, just a good idea. Like I just thought, why spend that much money when you can save it and then you can take all that savings and just blow it and make it rain? No, you don't want to do that. You want to put it into your savings. Okay, so this is it. I'm going to end it at this. And thank you very much for watching. As I always say, I hope you're having a blast whatever you're doing. I really appreciate you watching. And that's it. And um, sorry about the room. There's a lot going on in here.